Hello and welcome to episode 150. One, what? Oh, 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 <coughs> one fifty-five of take two. Hi, welcome to Stuck in Why are you Beta. Yelling? This is episode <laughs> one fifty-five. With me is Josh and Josh. Hey, Greg. Uh, hey, what's How's up? it going, fellas? Good, fantastic. Uh, man, it has been fantastic. It has been very fantastic. We haven't been together in two weeks. Is that what you're two saying? Weeks. It's been fantastic. Fant- you haven't seen us in two weeks. Uh, no, man. It's pretty rude. I I miss you guys when you aren't around. I I sit in the corner and curl up in a ball and just watch VCR <laughs> tapes. Apparently, <laughs> yeah. they're v- VHS, VHS tapes. Come on, gosh, man. Not beta. How young are beta you? Beta Max. <laughs> Younger than you. Okay. Well, so. Last week, we had Halloween. Yeah, we did. Um, we weren't here because uh, Millie was uh, sick. Right? Well, that was last a big week reason. was it was on a Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday would have been our show day. I think we all had different show day because it's a full day. It is <laughs> That's a right. whole day of the prep. whole day of prep and drinking. Uh, I, it, it's crazy how much prep we put into this. It is now Halloween. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, what did you guys do to celebrate the exciting? Um, day uh, as it's a it holiday. Is. Yeah, went to a friend's house and handed out candy. Yeah, they had a fire in the driveway. Fire pit. Uh, was it a neighbor? Yeah, yeah. It was somebody who used to work at the hospital. Oh, oh, okay. Do you, do you bring your own bowl with you then? We too? brought our own candy and used their bowl. Okay. They put a sign on it said "Free, take one." Oh, you. Mm-hmm. So you didn't even hand it out. No, that way we all could drink and stand around the fire, and the kids self manage the themselves yes. walking up and taking the candy i like that yeah it worked well yeah and that was mad that there were kids taking handfuls so she had to walk away from the bowl oh man that's i, I don't you know so so we did a, something similar because it was too cold we didn't have a fire pit oh, it, it was, was just cold one thing after the other we didn't i was not into the and spirit windy. of the of the holiday because ah, it was so cold humbug. uh and i got home late and i'm I'm trying to eat. Lori left with the nephew. My mother-in-law was at our house trying to hand out candy. She was sick, not feeling well. And it was like constant doorbells, like ding dong, you know, just constant. Greg says he's got like, what did you say, like six trick-or-treaters. And I'm like, God, we have droves of them. I mean, they were coming up in the the hordes. You know, it's funny. Our street, we live right on that main drag. There was no one on our street when we went home, mm. but in the back of the subdivision where we were, mm. it was shoulder to shoulder. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's mine is a better mic. It is. Yeah, mine isn't a, a uh, this subdivision. It, it's just. I don't it's know not, that I would call this a subdivision. No, it's like city streets. It's yeah. a city street, but there's a bunch of houses all together. Thank you, Brian Jud- Juddelson. Thank you for following. Um, I don't really get any kids around here i don't know why because you live next to the cemetery (laughs) okay i mean that's the place to be on halloween though you would think you got there light a candle and walk through the cemetery no oh that would have been creepy no i didn't do that but (laughs) we we had i I was surprised because probably the last i was here like the first i've been here 12 13 years now oh 13 uh, (laughs) i was the the first year i was here um I was so excited. I'm like, oh, this is my, house. you know, I'll have a smoke or the, uh, fo- uh, what is it, fog machine mm. and the strobe lights and all that. And I had maybe about seven kids come <laughs> up. And I'm like, screw that. And I, I never really handed out candy. And then uh, uh, Millie was sick and we didn't really get to go trick or treating ourselves. So we were just at home and um, we had maybe fif- 15 kids tops hmm. was about what we had. But, but with that. A- Perfect amount. Yeah, we give gr- we give great big handfuls to kids. They loved it. You know, and if you really wanted to, you could have a little conversation with them, probably, and you know, yeah. get to, especially if they're local here, you could kind of get to know them, maybe get to know some parents. Gosh, for my subdivision though, they come and drop them off by oh, the yeah. carloads, <laughs> and then so I got home a little late. I got home. It was right at six o'clock, and in, in our in our town, it's trick or treating was from six to eight. And people, this happened. This happened to me before too. Driving through my own subdivision, people are giving me dirty looks because I'm driving on the road while they're walking and yeah. they have to get out of my way. They're angry at me. Yeah, yeah. How can I live there? And then later come ask you for candy. Exactly. Yeah. People just aren't nice. <laughs> and, and yeah, I I have a sour taste in my mouth when it comes to like. What'd you put in it? 
And when it comes to the, the all the people that drop off their kids, it's just, I don't know. I, and my own sister, she comes to my subdivision, which. Yeah, say, hey, yeah. this isn't your subdivision. Uh, this is, you charge admission at the, at the entrance. Yeah. 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 You know, so I wonder how long that would last if you stood up at the entrance of your subdivision and said three dollars to get in. That's right. Or no, ask for an ID. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure that you live here. We're having a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, they're coming around. Yeah, yeah. Can I see your ID? I, I, <laughs> I bet people would turn around because they yeah. think you're some authority or something. Yeah, just a green vest, we've <laughs> flashlight. Yeah, we've that's re- all. That's all you need. Yeah. Sorry, folks, we've reached capacity. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean. How many times have you been downtown, went to park in one of those lots, and mm-hmm. there's just a guy selling yeah. tickets? You don't know if he has any authority over this yeah. lot or if he's just making some money, you know? Yeah. Kind of the same thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, uh, you should do it next time. Subdivision HOA this year has decided we're going to charge $2 yep. for admission. I think that'd work. Yeah. <clears throat> that would lower everyone's uh, subdivision dues. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, that... Just uh, show me your ID, and if you're at, if you don't live in here on your ID, uh-huh. you pay three dollars. Yeah, get in. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, it'd work. I'm gonna throw that out. You should see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be interesting. <laughs> Man, I take like advantage of it. You yeah, know? here I could have gave out full size candy bars, and but it it wouldn't have uh, it wouldn't have cost me that much. Right. You yeah. know? We spent, I think Lori said, like thirty five dollars on candy. And she, I think my mother-in-law was giving out like one piece, like a fun size Snicker, oh, you know, yeah. the mixed bag. She was giving out one piece. And finally, and she was getting so tired of like she, like I said, she wasn't feeling good. I was trying to eat dinner and she was getting <laughs> aggravated every time the doorbell would ring because she'd sit down and the doorbell would ring. So I said, just put the damn bowl out there on the front porch. Yeah. <laughs> and she did. And, and it was gone. And, you know, yeah. probably the next two horde people. Of kids that yeah. came up. Here's what we do next year. Um um for how how to fix it workshop we create some device you pour candy into it kid comes up hits a button a dispenser or something oh yeah and, dispenser. A, and just a certain yeah. like a piece comes out or something yeah like they would i mean they could keep there and keep hitting it or whatever and yeah. game the system but it wouldn't you know even if you even if it was just a wheel like a hopper that when you hit the button, the wheel would spin and push oh, the candy out. You know what would be great <clears throat> too? Have well, this would have a line of kids, but have a claw machine. Oh, that would set, be cool. Set that up and just have kids yeah. try to win their own candy. Win your own you know? candy. Yeah. Did you did you guys hear that the I guess tell a joke or whatever the that that is kind of a St. Louis thing? Oh yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. It, it's so weird too to me when kids don't have a joke like I, I never had one growing up really you didn't no. have one I always had one set ready to fire when someone asked nope. you know hmm. never was asked never huh. were asked nope I always I go do you have any joke no I'm like no candy for you yeah yeah no especially we, the older kids we were never asked you know older kids they need to have a joke ready. Did you have any kids that didn't really have a costume? No, not no. really. I mean, not not that I can no. It's interesting how it how the adults celebrate it because like, you know, you have like you had with the fire pit. I mean, yeah. that's become a very common thing. I don't remember that so much whenever I was a kid, but No, me either. Nowadays it's like in the subdivision, the fire pits are all over the place. People kind of, you know, congregate in their front driveway. But uh, I also see the parents walking up and down the streets with like a cooler. Oh yeah. And <laughs> oh, I did that beer, with you. A beer in hand. Yeah. Had yeah. the wagon pull in the wagon. Yeah. And had the had like beers in there and yeah. But I think this was the coldest Halloween on record. No. I think they were saying. I thought that we've I we've had that. snow on Halloween before. 1993, hmm. I think they said we had snow. Really? Yeah. I might have still been trick or treating in 1993. 93. 16. <laughs> 16 years old you probably were probably you probably 13 i would have been a freshman 13 or 14 hmm Hmm. hey jason rooks oh geez jason jason (laughs) well thank you going on um i went down to the science center last weekend where'd you go have lunch we uh you didn't listen did you no we didn't We, we had fine lunch i'll get to that part in a moment so we went to the science center and saw the uh Oh gosh, the Pompeii exhibit because it was. Oh ending. yeah, how was that? Ah, 
God, oh, it was like go. so many people. It, I mean, it's mild. Lori really wanted to go, and it was the last weekend for it. I don't know. But history stuff and museum Man, stuff history. is kind of, yeah. Did they still have that video game uh, thing at the Science Center? Oh, yeah, they do. They do? Mm-hmm. The rest of the Science Center is cool, but that old, like, I don't know, Pompeii stuff, it's it's interesting, but, I mean, there was, so what they would do is they would line up everyone, and they would let them in um, every, I think, half hour, but the people that were already in were just like, they didn't get, you know, pushed they didn't get out of the way, yeah. and so it was just a big backlog of people, it was so That's how busy. the Titanic thing was years was ago at Science Center, yeah. yeah. I mean, some of that stuff's inter- interesting, but it's just, yeah, I don't know. So what's your millennial observation? So we went to, uh, we ended up going to a couple breweries. We went to, um, oh gosh, what's that one called? Rock, uh, Rockwell. Hudson. Ro- Rockwell. Rock yeah, Hudson. Rockwell. Uh, <laughs> and There's so a joke there, probably. <clears throat> we're sitting, we're sitting there, you know, it was, it was really, really busy. It's This is like Saturday. Is that the one that's made out of shipping, shipping containers? Shipping containers, yeah. yeah. You went there, right? Yeah. It was uh, Saturday afternoon around, I don't know, 3 or, three or 4 o'clock, whatever. And uh, it was super busy. So we go in and, you know, we order a beer and we order some food. That's where we ended up eating lunch. And it was fine. Um, but as we're sitting there, we kind of like. 4 o'clock, that's dinner. That's not lunch. Maybe it was earlier than that. I no, that's remember. dinner for you. <laughs> it might have been You and the seniors 30. eating, eating uh, the, the special at 4 o'clock. But we found a we we found a seat at uh one of those you know everybody sits at the same table oh commune yeah and uh, socialist tables yeah <clears throat> so so we we end up look you know look, seeing the whole crowd and you know it kind of dawned on me because this group was gathering over to the side and it was like twenty fifth birthday and these <laughs> young couples were coming up sitting by us and everything you were and the I'm y- like oldest people in the room. Oh my God! I felt like I was the oldest really? people there. You might have been. I started looking around a little bit more, and I'm like, "Holy crap, Lori!" I'm like, "Look at around. Look around. There's nothing but like 20 year olds here." She's like, "No," and she's she's got her uh, back to the to the room, and she turns around. She starts looking, and she's like, "Oh my God, you're right." <laughs> and then she was like, kind of like. You know, Do we need to leave? <laughs> yeah. Did you ask any of them if they needed a butterscotch? <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of weird because you think, like, craft breweries a couple of years ago, it was – you always said, Greg, that it, you felt like it was your age. Right, yeah, yeah, it did. Because <clears throat> it was, like, the 30-somethings. Well, Greg identifies yeah. as a 23-year-old, though. <laughs> no, I mean, even – yeah, like, 10 years ago, I mean, it was still – it was – it was like thirty somethings, you know. Yeah. Ten years ago? Well, maybe not maybe that yeah, long. Not I that wouldn't long. even say that five long years ago. ago. Yeah, five years five, ago. Yeah, it's so just become more, more pop. I mean, it gets more and more popular. So yeah. yeah. So we went. We left there and we went down to Four Hands. The kids ran you off. <laughs> we we well, tried to go to Four Hands I, Saturday. I wanted to get the absinthe. What's it called? Absinthe, absinthe of light. light. Yeah. Um, which I should have bought some and brought some, but I've got let me finish. some of that. The variant. It was so. Yeah. It was so crowded yes. there. Yes. Horrible. Yeah. And they didn't have, they, had the ups, they had the upstairs closed. Yes. And what time I, were you there? Uh four maybe or so. That's when we we must have like just missed each other. Did you drive other. up? Or did yeah. you go in? Yeah. We walked in, saw the line, turned around, walked out. Oh. I saw a lot of people do that. Yeah. And so probably we saw him. <clears throat> yeah, probably. We and went, went in. in to go to the bathroom. There were these there were these this group of young kids, I mean, they looked like the same age kids, same age as my kids. And they go up and they're, old they're ordering you? beer. And I was like, what the hell is going on? I mean, is that the new, like, is it heading in that direction to where the craft breweries are now becoming like the millennial they, so hangout? I well, thought people 21, right? Well, I thought yeah, there was a big BMX skateboarding. Sunday. Oh, that was Sunday. That was Sunday. Okay. Because I knew there was something like that going at four hands, but okay. yeah. But Saturday night they posted earlier in the day Saturday, and they said that their upstairs was going to be closed all day for a private event. Oh, so we went up there and thought, well, we'll just grab a beer real quick because we were going to dinner, and no, there was n- no getting in. Yeah, it was shoulder to shoulder people. Yep. Huh. So it, I don't know. I don't know if it was just happened so to be that. 
did a younger person give up, get up and give grandpa <laughs> their, their seat? Oh, no. Excuse me, sir. Here, would you like this seat? I, sir. I you will. Must, your feet. You, you probably need to sit, sir. I will say, back though, hurt. at four hands, I noticed a, a wide variety of age range from like 21 to like 61 42 and <laughs> and the 60 the the guys that were older than me they looked like they looked pissed that really? they were that it was that busy that that there were people like cuz they cuz there was my there, bar. there was several of them sitting up at the bar and I was one and uh, there was like a, a young group that like you know ordered their drinks and got out of the way and this guy tried to like there was two guys at the bar and they tried to like squeeze in together to like close the gap and I came in just at that moment, and the guy was like, he kind of gave me a look, and then he was like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I guess he realized I was like <laughs> an old guy like him." <laughs> oh, oh man, oh, he's like, How are these damn young ends. What yeah, the hell? What what is it? <laughs> it's like they're messing up our. This bar. is our time. They come after nine. Exactly. Exactly. It's midday on a Saturday. They release them That's sweet peanut butter things, and then all them youngsters <laughs> come all in. All them damn hipsters come in here. Well, uh, Lori and I were talking. We're like, we we've been, you know, to mit, to a lot of breweries, you know, and it just that's the first time that it really like hit us that it's like, God, most of the people here are close to. Or people years coming up. Younger. Can we take our picture with you? <laughs> I I think it's just. I mean, was that at both? You said both, both were yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of. Probably, well, obviously, kids are turning 21 every right, day, right? Right, So, yeah. Well, I guess there the, may be the a lot more getting into that. They never started with the net life. Sure, that right. makes sense. And then I guess. And yeah, where are they getting that money from? Because craft beer is not cheap. No. Yeah. Yeah, like six, seven dollars. Right, t- uh, easy to get a. To get well, a much, and see, so no. that's why I've started drinking wine when we go but, out. Because it's it's almost as expensive to get a good craft beer at a restaurant as it is a bottle or a glass of wine. But mm-hmm. so when we used okay Morgan Street like places like that, yeah, we never drank that count. We never drank their beer there, no. but we drank Nat Light. Uh, yeah, or the big they had the big uh, Budweisers and the big huge bottles. Yeah, and um, they they were really expensive. I remember on the landing, and that's where the women were. So we'd go there to, and so could it be the same thing? They're just and, accepting these prices. And that was going to be kind maybe, of my my maybe. my other uh, takeaway, I guess. Was I was thinking back to what I did when I was imagining these folks are like twenty five and under, and and uh, I was thinking back to like what we were doing at that age, and we had a lot more. You know, they had like the clubs, you know, and. The yeah, dance clubs or well, like the Phoenix in <clears throat> South County, and yeah, they had like a band, but it was still kind of dancey, and yeah. and those things don't exist anymore. I, I well, don't think the Phoenix. No, well, I mean Phoenix the, hadn't been there in the nightclubs, 15 years. the dance clubs. So these the younger I mean, folks. If you wanted to go to the East Side, Oz was over there, <laughs> and yeah. Pops, well, right? PTs. I don't. Hey, we we are not the age to even know. There probably are these places. We just don't know how I to lo- get honestly, to these places. Actually, I Washington looked it up. Avenue, I looked the it up wheelhouse. I looked up pro- dance clubs earlier, and I couldn't I don't find know if they're still any. called dance clubs. Yeah, though. night I, clubs, night clubs. I know. Yeah. I know wheelhouse is one. That's where all the blues players go after games. Oh, there are some that open at nine or ten. Yeah, that that's I saw. too late. One of oh, our yeah. <laughs> one of our uh, friends we graduated with, she DJs at one of these night clubs every every Wednesday night or something like that. So I know they do exist, these mm. places. They don't open till like Josh said, 9 or 10. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, but the places you're, you're in your would, jammies. You know. And they I may not have a sign outside that, may, you know, it's cool if they have, like, a dark entrance. You well, know? sure, yeah. it's easier to get shot. Well, no, <laughs> it, yeah, I mean, there you go. That's where that guy got shot on Washington Avenue Halloween night coming out of a Halloween party. Really? Car drove up, shot him six times in the car. Jeez. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, yep. Thanks for bringing it to a <laughs> screeching halt. Yeah, there you go. I got some new socks. I got a new hat. This is I like this is hat. our podcast. You want to know <laughs> how <laughs> hard it is to find a hat like this? Okay, uh, let, let's totally start on. Steals this. my uh, story you, here. Do you go to the, more of a story than this you think. is not? I this is not a normal hat. <laughs> Do you go to the <laughs> old man? It's a derby. It, it's a, a flat ivy hat. Flat ivy. But huh? you know what? You want to know what size hat uh, this it's is? Big. 
four X. Four X. You want to know how big my head is? How big is your head? Twenty five inch circumference. <laughs> <laughs> Size eight and a quarter fitted hat. Oh. Oh, That's man. bigger than big head over here. Oh, thanks. Try buddy. that on. See how big that That's hat is. Swallow on you. me. Yeah, twenty-five inch circumference. <laughs> we always made fun of his big head. <laughs> oh man, look at you. You got a tiny head. <laughs> yeah. The bigger but the I head. am so happy. I, I mean, I've been looking for a hat like this for a while that fits. I can't find one that fits. You know what they say about guys with big heads? Big brains. <laughs> big hats. <laughs> yeah. Thick I skulls. Do. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big hat. <laughs> yeah, it's massive. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I uh I share my fo- some photos with Google um gosh, photos? What's that photos? Go- yeah. Google Maps. Oh, okay. And uh I got an email like a week or so ago that said, "Hey, thanks for being a contributor. Your photos have oh, hit like yeah. 500,000 yeah. views yeah. or whatever." And they sent me a free pair of socks. Oh, cool. Really? Yeah. They say Google on them? They. Oh, there's a maps, the Google Maps. Yeah. Huh. That's a, pretty cool. I got a bunch of like. I'm um, a little jealous. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, what the hell am I going to do with these? And Caleb wear them said. To the podcast. Caleb said, wear them to the podcast, talk about them, and Greg will be jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I am. And he was right. I'm wearing my yeah. Mario socks. Yeah. I've all my so, all my socks are goofy. I've got white ankle socks. Do you guys do that? Do you contribute to uh, Google? I maps? haven't in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I have, but I don't do it that often. I usually ha- it's not even a picture that I want. Like I'm taking a picture of Millie in yeah. Target or something like that. And a lot of mine that have gotten a lot of views, or if I take a picture of a brewery or something, or the oh, bar, okay. yeah, and um. And it'll like give me a notification. It'll say, "Would you like to contribute this?" And yeah, I do. And yeah, now I have some socks. That's well, there cool. you go. Yeah. You got something out of and it. And they have like a little uh, GPS on them, so <laughs> your sock, yeah, right. So you're tracked. Uh-huh. So you could track your socks. So there's speaking a, of that, there's a catch. Google's buying Fitbit, right, for two point one billion dollars. Yeah, the crappiest watch <laughs> company so there is. Now they will not only know your search history, but now they will know how active you are. Mm. Well, they know that with Google Fit. That's with if your you phone. use that. But do go, do Fitbit users use Google Fit? Probably not. I don't know. But do Fitbit users really? Are they honest about their fitness? Doesn't matter. It's just tracking GPS locations. That reminds me. Do you have that Snowden book? Yes. Can I borrow it? Uh, I'll get it from my dad. Yeah. Did you listen to him on the Joe I Rogan? Did. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty really much the book. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. And it's really eye-opening. I remember two you were sharing. Two hours long, right? His Joe Rogan interview was like two hours. I think hours. so, yeah. yeah. I remember you were telling us some things, and I was just kind of like, Yeah, eh. whatever. Mm-hmm. And, and then, yeah, and then, but hearing it from the horse's mouth, right. it's like, yeah. Yeah. You should watch that movie, too. It's Citizen Four. No, Well, okay, the, the Snowden movie. I think it's just called Snowden. Well, Citizen Four is the actual videotape that they took when the reporters came, oh. went to China and started interviewing him. That's that's on Netflix. That's actually no, it's not. That's on Hulu. Okay, that is very good. What's Citizen the JGL Four, one Citizen called? Four. Uh, that could be Snowden. Just Snowden. But the the Citizen Four one is all. It, yeah, it, you could call that Snowden. a documentary. Okay, it, it's pretty damn good. Yeah, I kind of went down the rabbit hole with a bunch of interviews that he's done, and uh, he's a smart dude. He's man. super smart. He's a smart dude. Yeah. And he can control interviews, too. Like, I was really impressed because he was on, like, the, I don't know, it was the Today Show or whatever that is in the mornings on CBS. No. Um, what is that called? CBS anyway. Morning. Anyway, he, like, took them, like, he, he would not let them, like, try to direct really? his questions. Yeah, it's pretty hmm. good. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'd like to borrow that book. Yeah, I'll get it back from my dad. Well, I think it's snack time. All right. <laughs> I was not queued up for that. I gave you the nod. Yeah, you did. And I got to put in the Oh, you really did. And, uh, here we go. Oh, oh my oh god. Gosh. Cashews, almonds, and he's cranking it up. On today's snack time, uh, we've got a potato chip. 
and I haven't seen these, and I found out they just came out recently. Uh, they're Lay's Grilled Cheese and Tomato Soup. Hmm. And, uh, Is this I, one of their new flavors, I guess? I, I think it's pretty new, but it's not like one of their Taste of America or anything. Hmm. It just came out. So, uh... It sounds like it might have been a winner if it's, like, turned into a regular... No, because we've tried all those, and I tried to look for it. Mm -hmm. Nope, it wasn't. So, here's some... That's strange. Here they are. You can grab some. Or whatever you want to do. Uh, so, are you guys a fan of the grilled cheese and tomato soup? I don't like I tomato am. soup. It's been a long time. These are good. Very cheesy. Very cheesy. It yeah. definitely has a tomato soup there, too. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, they're all right. They're fine. I could eat them. Not bag. my favorite. Really? Oh, yeah. I, any chip. So, I have a pro. Most of these, I'm like, ah, they're good or whatever, but none of them are like, like that uh, barbecue or sour cream and onion or you know the the popular ones that have sour been strong forever. Yeah. yeah, cheddar and sour cream. I mean they're good, but I don't know. Yeah. So, okay. um, grilled cheese. You pro or con? I like grilled cheese. Okay, I love grilled cheese. All yeah. right, I love grilled cheese. You can do so much. With a grilled cheese sandwich. Have you guys been to that grilled cheese restaurant in Kimswick? Yes. Well, oh, I have. Yeah, and I it, have. And it and Jackson have. And they've brought something to me. Yeah. yeah. They've That's got awesome. good uh, macaroni balls. Something. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. What's it called? The the cheese shack. Cheese, cheese shack. shack yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Oh, those macaroni balls. Oh no, we didn't try that. We tried something. That some was jalapeno thing. That was something? one of those ideas that I had like ten years ago. I'm like, man, this would that would be a perfect. Um, type of restaurant where you can have a variety of different types of sandwiches. But sure. I'm sure a lot of people have had that idea, but it was cool to see that it actually happened. And to, it, it's all like melts, basically. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. they have a grilled cheese, but all the other stuff has like meats and s other things on it. Yeah. Because um, you can't really call it a grilled cheese if it's got meat on it, right? Um, I can. Isn't that a melt? A turkey I melt. Uh, I don't know. Place I used to work did grilled cheese and bacon all the time. Okay, that that's the exception. Grilled cheese and tomato, or something like grilled that. Grilled cheese yeah. and bologna. <laughs> no, that's oh, a bologna yeah. sandwich. No, it's not. It's that's a grilled bologna, bologna sandwich. What's your favorite sandwich? Mm, Hawaiian bread sandwich. Ho well, I mean, what's on <laughs> your peanut butter and jelly? That's just the name of bread. No, it's not. This isn't a Hawaiian bread sandwich. What's Never on the Hawaiian that. bread sandwich? Every meat and cheese. Every meat and so cheese. So like salami, ham, turkey, and then That's whatever like cheeses meat. you want. And then whatever cheeses you want. And then you throw it in the oven and bake it at 350 for like 45 minutes. Comes out melty and hmm. awesome. Melty and awesome. My favorite's got to be the moist maker. Oh, oh God. That's Jesus. A That's a good one. On come that on, note, I'm up. leaving. I'm, I'm <laughs> double booked tonight. I'm sorry. Double gentlemen. booked. Well, I got to go to religion school. Well, uh, guess what? The Moist Maker will be making a comeback here in about oh, we're four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> are we making another one? You are. I am? <laughs> You're the maker. I'm the maker? The yeah, Moist Maker the maker. Moist maker. All right. See you, gentlemen, right. next week. See you, Josh. Take it easy. What else you got, Greg? You well, wanted to talk about uh, eyes? Well, the four, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead. You go ahead and start talking. Would you like me to grab you a beer? Sure, why not? Find me a beer. So, I had, I was, <laughs> this is kind of a, it starts weird. I was in the shower the other day. <laughs> and, um, you know, I I keep my contacts in most of the time. I don't take them out. And I had them in. I went in the shower. One of them just fell out of my eye. Like, I had problem. It came out of my eye. So I'm like, oh, crap. So I kind of got out of the shower and took both of them out, the one left eye, right eye, put them in its container, and I went about getting ready, you know. So I'm getting ready, and I'm like, you know, I think I'll just wear glasses today because 
my eye kind of, my right eye feels kind of weird so i kept i went i went to put on my glasses i'm like why is this eye all fuzzy my right eye was all fuzzy so i started putting eye drops in it i'm like this is and it it never felt any better and i kept looking through it i'm like man every time i put my glasses on my eyes are just getting fuzzier and you know that that right eye is getting fuzzy so I went to look if I had like an eyelash or something in my eye. Didn't have anything, but it, I went and felt in there. And wouldn't you know it, there was another contact in my eye. <laughs> Meaning that I had two contacts in my right eye. So you were trying to put one over one that was already in there? No, I I don't know how the other one got in there. Huh. Because I didn't... Okay. I... I... I know I took cold medicine that night, and I don't know how halluc- <laughs> you know how uh, how much hallucinations I would have gotten from it, but it it was so weird. So Molly says it's impossible, but ten years ago, I was in the shower <laughs> again in the shower, and I lost the contact, and I thought it just fell and went down the drain because I could never find it. Yeah, but a part of me thought that it was still in my eye. Well, I, I'm thinking, this is my thought. I thought that somehow this contact was on the back of my eye and finally showed up again in my what? eye. What? That is, that, well, Molly that says, is not possible. Molly says it's not, impo- not possible because when you go to the eye doctor, they, you know, they check your eye and they would see something on the back, even on the back of your eye. But I don't know. I don't know how a second one ended up in my eye. Because I didn't put another one in my eye. Don't you think it would have caused some problems before now? I don't know. <clears throat> it can just literally float all the, all the way back roll, to your head? Yeah, roll roll around, yeah. It can? Like, that's a that's a thing? Yeah, it could. It's, hmm. not, it's not a normal thing, but yeah, it can. Never heard of that. Hmm. Well, yeah. So... There you go. There's That's my a crazy story. There's my story about my eyes. Um, we look really weird on our set here on the screen now. Because I know. We have this bare spot. Well, over you here. could scoot over. You don't have to stand. Uh, okay. No. Okay. Just stand. Oh, no, there you go. How's this? Can you still hear me? Okay. Man, I don't know how old this is. Yeah. It, it tastes okay. Yeah. I don't know. We're drinking a uh, a. Sh- uh, Coffee stout from Schlafly, Schlafly coffee stout that I actually think this has been in there for quite a while. Oh yeah, it does say uh 2016. There you go. Holy cow. This is an old beer. That's an old beer. Wow. That's 3 years. Huh. What the heck, dude? I don't Why don't you go through your beer fridge? Uh, it's been cellared. I mean, I don't know. I think it's lost flavor as opposed to uh gained anything new. Well, that's how it goes. Hmm. Man. Um, did now you that, hear? Now that you say that, it, it tastes a little. Uh, it I tastes. Know. It tastes like know. very like old, old coffee. <laughs> it's coffee that's stuff. What it, it tastes like, yeah, coffee that's been sitting in your in the pot for mm-hmm. a, maybe uh, the next day or something. Yeah. You just pour it in a glass and drink <laughs> it. No, oh, that's all right. So. Um, you a fan of the Happy Meal, the McDonald's Happy Meal? I used to be. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're not still? Well, I mean, it can still uh, be a, a wise choice for someone who's trying to like not eat too many calories. Oh, I there guess. you go. You get your apple slices instead of your fries or yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, uh, it is their 40th anniversary. No, oh, that's nice. And they're having like it. I think it's the seventh through the tenth. It's a real short period of time. I don't even think it's a whole week. Uh, they're doing a throwback toys. They're taking older toys from the 80s and 90s. So there's like a Beanie Baby. There's like the old Tama- Tamagotchi. Oh, yeah. There's a little, remember the, uh, this is more from our era, the Chicken McNugget Buddies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the remember the little, it was like a food. I, it looked like a Big Mac cake, and it transformed into a robot. Yeah. They have those. And they're all going to be. You're you're not gonna know what you get. You get like, I think, 
from the way it's explained, it looks like it's going to be in like a blind bag mm-hmm. where it'll just be thrown in your Happy Meal and you get it, you find out what you get. And there's mm-hmm. like, uh, was it 15? I wish I had the thing pulled up, but it's about 15 toys, 20 different toys, something Weren't like the, that. Wasn't it the, like the California Raisins? Weren't they like a big deal for a while, like in the 80s? Yeah. For some reason, I think that's that was Hardee's. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know why I kind of mm-hmm. remember that, but... But uh, yeah, um, didn't maybe it was a Smurfs. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, or they had the little some McDonald's. Ca- I don't. But anyway, there is a lot. There's a lot of different toys that you can get, and it's coming starts tomorrow. That you get a Happy Meal, you get one of these toys, these mm. old vintage toys. It was Hardee's for the California raisins. You're right. Boom. Smart guy. I remember these things yeah yeah so, so is that your uh, pop culture segment well it uh, yeah it kind of is but do you remember like a happy meal toy that you were like this is the best this is awesome because most of them are kind of crappy did did those he-men he-men oh i remember yeah. yeah from like but, the early 2000s yeah we were adults then when we yeah the but i had like the whole set yeah i got the whole set too <laughs> I think I just, uh, what the heck did I do with those? Oh, they're still around the house, actually. Um, I think my nephews play with them. And I oh, had, they're open? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I got, like, He-Man, and uh, I know I had both of the Tigers, right? Um, Skeletors. Panthor and uh, yeah, Cringer. Battle Cat. Battle Cat, yeah. Well, I, I found out, I mean, recently, do you remember... It was back. It was like around eighty four, eighty five. They had a Transformers uh, Happy Meal, hmm. and it came with a Transformer, and it didn't transform or anything. It was just like oh, a oh yes, yeah. So, so I found out from a guy at work those only that was like a test marketed thing in the St. Louis area. Really, didn't happen anywhere else. Those things are ultra rare. Oh and, no, <laughs> yeah. Like, they're like about eighty to a hundred bucks each. These of course these things. Yeah, and I'm like, I know I had one of those. I mean, I, I can't remember what I had. I probably had Optimus Prime. Is comes to mind. I remember like a little small figurine that was kind of like, yeah, you couldn't do anything with it. Yeah. It was just like a little statue, basically. Mm-hmm. But they were in all weird colors and stuff. Bumblebee. But, yeah, Bumblebee. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it. So he said he told me he goes. That's the main thing I look at when I'm at garage sales really? and look at look through because someone who doesn't know mm-hmm. probably and I wouldn't know either. No, you throw that in the box. Everything in this box, anything you find is a nickel or something yeah, like that. Exactly. You know? And yeah, uh, some old junk toys from 30 years right. ago. What are they worth? Yeah, exactly. So hmm. I don't know. I think that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Another. Well, I always bring up the McBoo pails. Those are. One yeah. of my favorite things. They're not really a toy, but the Happy Meal came in that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And uh, the another thing that was similar to this, um, do you re- Dukes of Hazard? Hmm. They had it was like a um, the meal came in like a plastic car. It really it didn't drive or anything. It was just like a a tray with a a um, plastic car that fit on top, like. It had the General Lee, uh, the the police car, Boss Hogs car, mm. and then you put the stickers on it. Yeah, I'm, I just pulled up pictures of them, and it does look familiar. But that probably would have been like early '80s. Yeah, I, that, I remember having <laughs> Roscoe P. Goldrain. <laughs> <laughs> I remember having his police car, and Gosh. you know, I'm sure that got thrown away because it it really wasn't a toy. It was just kind of a container, but it was I don't know that. That was something I really remember as a kid. It looks like there was six of them. There was uh, two cars, a truck, at least. Probably Daisy Duke's Jeep. Or was that yeah. Uncle Jesse's Jeep? Yeah, One there was a two. Jeep. Oh, um, Uncle Jesse had the truck, right? Yeah, the old the old pickup truck. Yeah. I don't know who's the owner who had the white car. I'd be Boss Hog, right? Oh, okay. And then there was a couple of police cars. Enos and oh yeah and Roscoe, uh, Roscoe yeah huh <laughs> what a great memory you have how do I remember all I that bullcrap 
<laughs> oh, uh, Dissel Fink is now falling, and uh. my Skeletor animation came up. <laughs> Yay! That means it's it's actually working. <laughs> hey, Germany, how you doing? Hello. So, uh, talking about uh, Happy Meals. Happy here. Meal toys. So, um, but yeah, I think uh, I think those are some of the cool coolest so, uh, yeah that, so just a couple you know um i didn't know if you were gonna have anything for the pop culture segment this week so i found this uh website that is called uh pop culture this day in history yeah and i was scrolling through it for november 6th and found i don't know a couple of things not not a whole lot i don't think this is a very uh exciting day for pop culture history but uh, in 2001 the uh, and this surprised me a little bit but the uh the show 24 premiered yeah man, man. i remember that show that, uh-huh. and it was such a big deal because it was all in real time you had you know every which the one thing i felt weird about that show was you're what this is supposed each minute is supposed to be an actual minute in the yeah. show an hour and, of the day and then all 24 was a was a yeah. full day, right? All 24 episodes. Right. But no, at no time was there just a guy there sleeping, you know? Yeah. That's what it would be. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or like, well, he was on I a mission. I gotta go to the bathroom. There was <laughs> yeah. no time to sleep. He was on a mission. Yeah. Was that the one, though, that had the, like, when it would go to commercial, it would go, had that music, boop, bing, beep, beep, boop, beep. Yeah. Beep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else happened. Um... Back in 1990, Arsenio Hall earned his Hollywood a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> in 99? 90. Nine? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know, a long time ago. And where has he been since? Yeah, I don't know. I get, um, I think he's going to be in the new... Um, they're doing a sequel to... Oh, what's the Eddie Murphy and... Uh, what is the, the... Why can't I think of the name? I he, s- he's the uh, prince... Um, Come oh, on. uh you talking about um uh <laughs> this this why, shoot why this can't is I terrible. Do... coming to America? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> They're doing a reboot of that? They're doing a sequel. Oh. Really? Yeah. So that had like Dan Aykroyd in it, right? Who are the old white guys? No, you're thinking the trading places. Oh, okay. Coming oh, to America. Yeah, yeah. Coming to America. Where they he's were... working at McDougal's and some yeah. of McDonald's. Were they Wow, where are they Im- Im- immigrants from? They were like oh, the country. Okay, uh, don't ask me everything about that. Movie. I don't <laughs> okay, so they're they're making a sequel of that, huh? Yeah. Huh. Uh, well, the number one hit on this date in 1965 was the Rolling Stones' "Get Off of My Cloud." Oh, remember that one? Yeah. Yeah, not a not a stellar date for. Yeah, uh, pop but culture. you know, yesterday, right? November fifth. Uh, I could find out here real you, quick. You know what happened November 5th. November 5th. I do not know. 1955. Oh. <laughs> uh, that would be the... I wonder if that's in here. The so day uh, time travel was... Time uh, travel, yeah. Was invented. The flux capacitor. See. The flux capacitor was invented, yeah. That's funny. I wonder if that's in here. Well, it should... If it's not, it should be. Let's see. This, this, this uh, website's kind of cool because it... You know, it compiles all this information, but it has a ton of pop-up ads. Oh. Um, one of those. Yeah, one of those. So, you've been doing, uh, you've been watching Jack Ryan? Yeah, I was really excited to see that come back. That yeah. is, that is a fantastic show. It's a good show. We only watched one episode of season two so far, but. I think we've watched two, maybe three. I can't remember. I think it's just two. Yeah. And we, it's great. We were kind of it. It's hard to usually when we sit down to watch something, we have to have this time devoted because if we don't, it gets sucked up with something else. You know? What do you mean? Uh, we just like you have to plan it. Is that what you're saying? Almost, yeah. yeah. You plan your what you're gonna watch and when? Pretty much, cause we well, yeah, I guess so. Because right now, there's actually some TV shows that we watch because it's the, you know, during the regular season. Oh, where there's stuff yeah. we watch. Is that why you have to be home at a certain time tonight? Do you have, uh, is tonight the, 
not the amazing race what do you watch no no i don't have to be home for that oh survivor survivor yeah, yeah. i thought maybe tonight was survivor night wednesday is survivor night yeah that's what i goldberg's night oh it's always sunny in philadelphia so yeah you I do have three different names yeah i know but those really all three of those well goldberg's molly watches with me but the other two molly doesn't really she'll watch survivor every once in a while but she's not really into it so i told Lori that you said you need to um you needed to be home by seven and i said i think it's because he's probably got to watch survivor and no she's like, i said i probably <laughs> only want to spend an hour up at the oh. thing well i said uh she said why doesn't he dvr it i said well because he doesn't want to take the run the risk of something coming across on his like google feed or something that would be a spoiler and i know that's true I, I never run into that stuff. <laughs> I used to when it was a more popular show. Yeah. I can't believe that show is still on. Eh. I enjoy it. It's like you hung on to that just as I've hung on to The Walking Dead. Yeah. Well, yeah. you've hung. I think Survivor's been on for like well, close to 20 years, right? It's been, I think, 2000 when it was its yeah. first year. Gosh, The Walking Dead. Uh, still watching that. That that's one that we haven't let go of. Um, this past week's episode, you quit watching it a couple years ago, right? Yeah, we we haven't watched the last two years. So, spoiler alert! And I don't know. Yeah, I know you're not going to watch it or whatever. Spoilers. So, uh, so in this episode, Negan has been in prison for in the uh, one of the towns because of all the bad things that he did. You know, so they instead of killing him. They didn't kill him? No. Uh They put him in jail to try to create, like, a real, like, community, you know? we're not going to Society. Society, yeah. So they put him in jail. Well, he he was trying to do something good. He he actually was pretty reformed. (laughs) My whole family, like, that's their favorite character now. They hated him, like, two years ago, but now he's lovable. I mean, he's he's still the same in the way that he talks and everything, but he's He's not killed. Yeah. He's not killing it. It's kind of like in um, Breaking Bad. You know how you like hated but loved Walter White? Yeah. It's an anti-hero. Yeah. Just like Tony Soprano. You know? Yeah. So yeah. he's just like that. But in this last week's episode, he um, he was forced to kind of leave because something bad happened. And anyway, he uh, this kid, they had his bat, you know, Lucille, the mm-hmm. bat. And, and they his still le- had that around? And Why didn't they burn it? I know. And the leather jacket that he wore. They were like in storage or something, and then this kid like stole it and found him when he was had, and he left and gave it back to him. And he's like, "Get that shit away from me! I don't, I, I don't want to have anything to do with that." And then something else bad happened, and he like went up, grabbed the jacket, grabbed the bat, and then like the music changed, and then it went, then it faded to black. Hmm. So I don't know where. Now what he's direction? going bad again. Yeah, I don't know which direction they're heading with that. Huh. It's weird. That's weird. Yeah. Have you watched... Uh, well, you you said you watched the Breaking Bad, El Camino. Did you finally watch it? I watched it. What, what was your... I thought it was fantastic. Really? Yeah. I just thought it was unnecessary. Really? Yeah. Huh. I, I mean, but... I didn't really get anything from it. Spoilers. There, there's a lot of just looking... For shit, like, what like, do you mean? There is flashbacks to like Todd and all this, and yeah. That and then there's um, like I don't even think the flashback to Walter or the flashback to Jane. Well, that was kind of a in his head. Oh no, it was a flashback. None of that really added more to the story. Maybe it's just me. I just I didn't. I like the beginning. Where he went back, Skinny Pete and and uh, yeah, I don't remember his name. Um, Badger, yeah, both help him out, and mm-hmm. there's you know, but after that, it's kind of like, man, I don't know. I, was, I don't know. <clears throat> I I really enjoy Breaking Bad, and I felt that it was well, good. It it, it, clo- it it put a it 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 what it did is it it gave you like closure to that character. Yeah, like, I guess so. It, the when the season ended, you knew that Walter White died, and then Jesse drove off as the police were were coming in to you know that area or whatever where the meth was being cooked, and you didn't know like what happened to him. I I think 
I I kind of felt in my head that's what ha- that he ran away and went somewhere else. That's and that's kind of what happened. You yeah. know, really, really, when it comes down to it, nothing really happened. No, not really. But you it know, was, I thought it was an interesting story. It was it was good. I just didn't find it great. Hmm. I don't know. And we all liked it in my house. Well. You, what you about can like uh, whatever you want? In Better Call Saul, does uh, does Jesse ever show up in that? Uh, hasn't yet. No. How close are they in that story to Man, the I have, Breaking Bad? Era? I have no idea where the timeline is. No. Um, I don't. We want to try to. I tried to get back into that again, and man, there's some episodes that are so painfully slow with his brother. God, I it I was gets, bored to death. So it gets. So I. I've en- I enjoyed I have thought that it's gotten progressively better mm-hmm. the entire time. You know, how some shows start out really strong and yeah. they kind of this I think is just going up. Hmm. I need better. To, I need to try to stick with it, but I think I'm. Is it season one where his brother is like, uh, who was the attorney, the other attorney, and he was like the head of that big firm, and he went kind of crazy. Yeah. That's season one, right? Season two? I don't know. His brother's around for a while. Is he? Yeah. Where he was like, he he had no electricity in his house, and he wore the yep. aluminum foil hat or whatever. Yep. God, I don't know. Some of those episodes were just so incredibly boring. It's to find, well, you find out what, the something really happened to his brother. Yeah. Like, you can see that. Right. Because he was extremely successful. And yeah. Something, yeah. I, I might have even watched it up to that point. I f- vaguely remember something happened to him, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. it goes... Yeah. Do you watch that show Atypical? Uh-uh. I don't even know what that... What is it's that? It's a Netflix show about a kid who has uh, autism, and he's... Uh, he, he's about... He's in high school, and the and it's just a family... Um, you know, it's just all about the family dynamic and it has, um, what is the dad's name? You'd recognize the dad cause he was on friends. Chandler Michael, Bing. Michael Rappaport, I think. Oh, he was, he yeah. was, uh, Phoebe's boyfriend for a yeah, while. The cop guy. He's on Stern all the time and oh, he's really? a jackass. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's huh. so funny because. The guy can act, mm-hmm. but he's just a jackass. In real life? Yeah. <laughs> huh. But we like that show a lot. Um the uh it's just it, it's like a it's like a old fashioned, I'd say, kinda like family not really sitcom because it's Dra- but it's drama kinda like uh, um parenthood type. Yeah, kinda like that. But it's half hour shows. Um nothing crude or raunchy or anything like that. Um, the autism piece of it is what draws us to it um, just because, you know, our kids are kind of peculiar in, what, in their own individual <laughs> okay. ways. Yeah. And, you know, we yeah. all are, really. So it, it, seeing, you know. Atypical. Yeah. There you go. Good stuff. Season three just came out, though. We've been watching a couple oh. episodes of that. Yeah. I couldn't tell you what we've been watching. Like once we got back from Florida, we had like a bunch of stuff to watch, and I don't even know what we watched. <laughs> Sounds meaningful. Well, there's a lot of stuff that we're like, eh, do we really want to go back and watch that? That really wasn't that good anyway, and you know, like, are you talking about things that you DVR? Yeah, or? yeah. Okay, so regular network. So shows. we were watching um, American Horror Story this season. Mm-hmm. It was um, 1984. Was the the theme. Yeah, you were talking about that a and couple it, weeks ago. It was in the camp. It was in a camp, and there's a killer. And then, like every week, though, they'd switch. Where you're like, oh, well, wait a minute, this guy's evil too. Oh wait, this person's evil. This one, and then the story keeps. And then now it's into some sort of like weird Satan worship thing, and mm-hmm. we're just like, eh, I'm not really into it anymore. I, yeah. I mean, it just. It was goofy to begin with, and I was kind of ready to bow out. Molly was into it. Now she's ready to bow out, so yeah. and I really don't care. Yeah. I didn't think it was that great, but I, I don't know how well it w- how well it was received this season. 
<laughs> but uh, I, I think it's still going on. I think it's still got a few more episodes. But I don't know. We that and uh, uh, well, we you know that. Uh, have, do you ever watch The Mass Singer? No, I. It's a fun show, actually. Yeah. I wish I knew more of the celebrities, though. Some of them, I. The one though uh, that got uh, got demasked the other day, uh, I actually knew who that was, and I guessed correctly. Huh. But uh, so, what's the premise? How does it work? All I've seen is it's you know somebody in a costume and they're singing. So yeah, that's basically. I mean, I know that's they the give you like so. There's a person in a costume. They tell you, like, they have, like, a little, oh, I did this and that. And they they have, like, their voice modulated, too. Okay. Until they sing, then their voice, it's a real voice. Uh But uh, when they're talking about themselves, they they usually talk in, like, clues. So you kind of have to pick out, oh, okay, I see, because you did that. Like, last year there was one, um, Tommy Chong was one Hmm. one of the singers, and you kind of, Actually, you immediately knew from his voice mm. who it was. From the singing voice? Yeah. But sometimes you could pick up on the clues, too. But So they talk. It's just like a short minute long. Then they go. They sing a song. And then you have these judges that are pretty awful. They're Jenny McCarthy's one of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I think it's fun just trying to figure out who it is. But the problem is, this season, one of the celebrities was a a streamer like a youtube really? streamer oh my gosh but I, I saw his i don't know if your kids know of the guy ninja yeah yeah he was Th- one he was of, one of them yeah <laughs> i wonder if that's his first like mainstream what you would call like mainstream um i don't know at target i saw oh. like some of his hats oh well, okay it's a ninja mind. on it and the i know he's worth a fortune yeah like because i was walking i was in the um uh, you know where the video games on are and there was um a bunch of hats that said ninja on <laughs> i'm like oh my gosh that I, guy's got money yeah he does i think he might be uh a little well, i think well, he's he's 28 i was thinking he was close to 30 he's and he's not on twitch anymore he went over to this new service called mixer hmm. oh shoot i was gonna try to speaking of a new service i subscribed to tiktok today Oh, the the one that uh, is stealing all your information from China. What? <laughs> it's in the news. Literally yesterday, it oh, went really? in the news. Yeah, uh, look it up. I, great. I don't. Know. Yeah. Shh. So I was listening. I listened to this podcast called Made for Profit. It's uh, a couple of woodworkers, and they had been talking about uh, Gary. Gary V is, I guess, a, uh, uh, a what do you call it? Investor in TikTok. Yeah. And, you know, how he's, like, totally into, like, social media and everything. So they had convinced these guys that I listened to on a podcast. They He had convinced them because one of them was had an opportunity to go to one of, like, his seminars or whatever and meet him. They'd convinced him that, like, this was the – he he said this is the next up-and-coming social media. And so they decided to give it a try. Been around and, a know, while. Well, it used to be, like, musically – and okay. then musically was like bought by TikTok, so it's got like all that whole um it's got the you can find any song on there it's like looped music too uh and video what i'm at from what i know it's like videos that are looped well you can do anything you want with it it's your own so you record yourself and you can like edit it and do all kinds of cool stuff of yourself but then you can put it to music and it's mm. there's no copyright or anything because it's all like all music is available on it hmm. it's kind of cool so i was going to try to do a a video of us today and then put it to music because i downloaded it created a stuck in beta account and i was going to try to set something up but i totally forgot until you just said something about it yeah maybe next week maybe well hey it's about the end of show time it is time for us to go check us out listen to our stream every week on uh the well, I'll just check out stuckinbetapodcast.com to find out where all, where you can find us. We're on Spotify. We're on, uh, where are we at, Josh? I YouTube, think we're, Twitch. Yeah, Twitch. We're everywhere. We're Facebook. on the social medias. We're everywhere. We just find us, stuckinbetapodcast.com, and donate. We can get some delicious snacks. All right. 
keep talking. And I got to keep talking, but uh, to- we're about ready to close up this thing because Josh is finding the music <laughs> to say goodbye. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.